Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to create a custom courtroom in Ace Attorney Online. Firstly, I recommend downloading the courtroom benches. You do this by choosing predefined places, courtroom benches. And now, go into inspect and just start looking around here. Just open these and eventually you'll find it. Here, I found it. So here is the first picture the courtroom picture. I, I get it by dragging this preview and then releasing it here. And if I dig a little bit more, I'll be able to find, here they are, the benches. So I'll take them too. I'm going to start with the benches, so I'll copy them and put them into paint.net. You can of course use any software. For this tutorial I'm using paint.net. So now I'm just going to draw over these, create my own courtroom benches. Okay, now I'm done and I'm also going to change the background of the court. So this one, I'm going to edit it. Not too much, I'm just gonna make sure they can see that it's different, that I've actually changed it you will be able to see. You can go crazy with this, draw these really cool backgrounds. Right now I'm just simp making it very simple for the tutorial. So now you need to divide these courtroom benches into individual images. And the images are going to be 256 by 192 pixels. So I just dragged this, selected it from the corner, and now, so this is the first one to the defense bench and then the witness stand is a little bit more complicated um, there's probably a, a really good like a better way to do this but um, it's it's simple to just um, first I'm just gonna make sure that the distance is correct and yeah it is it is correct so now I'm just gonna go into canvas size Increase the canvas size to 256 by 192 pixels. And I'm gonna expand it from this up here. So the picture is selected in this corner. So it'll expand up and to the sides. Just like that. And now I'll just make this white space transparent by cutting it. There we go. And now finally the prosecution bench. Now I can just select from here, make it 256 by 192 pixels, copy and paste. There we go, I've got all three now, and now save these four images. Now that I've got them saved, the next step is to upload them somehow to the internet, for example by using your github or, as I'm gonna do, imager. It's very simple, I'm just gonna drag and drop all the images and here we have them I saved them as PNGs so they'll give me this link but I, I'm gonna add a .png onto it so it becomes the direct link to the image so now I can add these pictures as a place to Ace Attorney Online add a place external background we're not using any backgrounds from any of the games this is original content. So, I'm just gonna copy this, paste it, add.png, and now we have this big background. And now we're going to add foreground objects. What this means is that they're gonna be in front of the characters, like, for example, Phoenix Wright at the defense bench. So the bench is in front of him. So, for the defense bench, here it is. I'm just gonna copy and paste. Actually, no, this is the name. The URL is here. .png. This is the name I'm just gonna write. Defense bench. And the X position on screen. This is when I start quoting the doctor. He says that the defense bench has a position of 0, 0. So I don't need to change these, they're already zero. Now, the witness stand. Here we have the witness stand, just gonna copy it. 
and paste add .png. And the doctor says the witness stand has 520 and 0. So I'll change this to 520. And lastly, the prosecution bench. And I'm going to use this image, this link, .png. And the doctor says the prosecution bench has 1040 and 0. So just change this to 1040. And now we're done. So now we can use this background here, as you can see. And as you can see, <laughs> the bench is right here. If I change it to left aligned, we can see the bench here. Right aligned. See, it works very well. Goodbye.